Gaius Solius Modestus Apollinaris Sidonius, better known as Saint Sidonius Apollinaris, the 5th of November of an unknown year, c. 430 August 489 AD, was a poet, diplomat, and bishop. Sidonius is the single most important surviving author from 5th century Gaul, according to Eric Goldberg. He was one of four Gallo Roman aristocrats of the 5th to 6th century whose letters survive in quantity. The others are Ruritius, Bishop of Limoges, died 507, Alcimus Ecdisius Avidus, Bishop of Vienne, died 518, and Magnus Felix Enodius of Arles, Bishop of Ticinum, died 534. All of them were linked in the tightly bound aristocratic Gallo Roman network that provided the bishops of Catholic Gaul. His feast day is 21 August. Life Sidonius was born in Lugdunum Lyon. His father Apollinaris was the prefect of Gaul under Valentinian III, he recalls with pride being present with his father at the installation of Asterius as consul for the year 449. Sidonius's grandfather was Praetorian prefect of Gaul sometime prior to 409 and a friend of his successor Decimus Rusticus. Sidonius may be a descendant of another Apollinaris who was prefect of Gaul under Constantine II between 337 and 340. Sidonius married Papiania, the daughter of Emperor Avidus, around 452. This union produced one son, Apollinaris, and at least two daughters. Sidonius mentions in his letters Severina and Rosha, but a third, Alcima, is only mentioned much later by Gregory of Tours, and Theodor Mommsen has speculated that Alcima may be another name for one of his other daughters. His known acquaintances include Bishop Faustus of Rees and his theological adversary Claudianus Mamertus. His life and friendships put him in the center of 5th century Roman affairs. In 457 Majorian deprived Avidus of the empire and seized the city of Lyons, Sidonius fell into his hands. However, the reputation of Sidonius's learning led Majorian to treat him with the greatest respect. In return Sidonius composed a panegyric in his honor as he had previously done for Avidus, which won for him a statue at Rome and the title of Count. In 467 or 468 the emperor Anthemius rewarded him for the panegyric which he had written in honor of him by raising him to the post of urban prefect of Rome until 469, and afterwards to the dignity of patrician and senator. In 470 or 472, he was elected to succeed Eparchius in the bishopric of Auvergne Clermont, now Clermont -Ferrand. When the Goths captured Clermont in 474 he was imprisoned, as he had taken an active part in its defence, but he was afterwards released from captivity by Euric, king of the Goths, and continued to shepherd his flock as he had done before, he did so until his death. Sidonius's relations have been traced over several generations as a narrative of a family's fortunes, from the prominence of his paternal grandfather's time into later decline in the 6th century under the Franks. Sidonius's son Apollinaris, who was a correspondent of Ruritius of Limoges, commanded a unit raised in Auvergne on the losing side of the decisive Battle of Vouy, and also was Bishop of Clermont for four months until he died. Sidonius's grandson Arcadius, on hearing a rumour that the Frankish king Thuduric I had died, betrayed Clermont to Childebert I, only to abandon his wife and mother when Thuduric appeared. His other appearance in the history of Gregory of Tours is as a servant of King Childebert. Topic. Works His extant works are his panegyrics on different emperors in which he draws largely upon Statius, Osinus and Claudian, which document several important political events. Carmen Seven is a panegyric to his father-in-law Avidus on his inauguration as emperor. Carmen V is a panegyric to Majorian, which offers evidence that Sidonius was able to overcome the natural suspicion and hostility towards the man who was responsible for the death of his father-in-law. Carmen II is a panegyric to the emperor Anthemius, part of Sidonius's efforts to be appointed urban prefect of Rome, several samples of occasional verse, and nine books of letters, about which W.B. Anderson notes. Whatever one may think about their style and diction, the letters of Sidonius are an invaluable source of information on many aspects of the life of his time. While very stilted in diction, these letters reveal Sidonius as a man of genial temper, fond of good living and of pleasure. A letter of Sidonius's addressed to Ryothamus, king of the Bretons, 
C. 470 is of particular interest, since it provides evidence that a king or military leader with ties to Britain lived around the time frame of King Arthur. The best edition is that in the Monumenta Germania Historica Berlin, 1887, which gives a survey of the manuscripts. An English translation of his poetry and letters by W.B. Anderson, with accompanying Latin text, have been published by the Loeb Classical Library Volume 1, containing his poems and books 1–2 of his letters, 1939, Remainder of Letters, 1965. Among his lost works, is the one on Apollonius of Tyana. Gregory of Tours speaks of Sidonius as a man who could celebrate Mass from memory without a sacramentary and give unprepared speeches without any hesitation. Topic. Notes Topic. Sources and further reading C. E. Stevens, Sidonius Apollinaris and His Age. Oxford, University Press, 1933. K. F. Stroecker. Der Senatorische Adel im Spatendeken Galen. Tübingen, 1948. Nora Chadwick, Poetry and Letters in Early Christian Gaul London, Bowes & Bowes, 1955. Jill Harries, 1994. Sidonius Apollinaris and the Fall of Rome, AD 407-485. Oxford, Clarendon Press. ISBN 978-0-19-814472-4. Sigrid Maracic. Identität Siftung aus der Vergangenheit, zum Diskurs über die Trajanische Bildungskultur im Kreis des Sidonius Apollinaris. In Therese Führer, H.G., Die Christliche Philosophischen Diskurs der Spatentik, Texte, Personen, Institutionen, Akten der Tagging vom 22-25, Februar 2006 am Zentrum für Antike und Moderne der Albert Ludwigs Universität Freiburg, Stuttgart, Franz Steiner Verlag, 2008, Philosophie der Antike, 28. Johannes A. Van Warden and Gavin Kelly, eds. New Approaches to Sidonius Apollinaris, with indices on Helga Kohler, C. Solius Apollinaris Sidonius, Brief Book I. Leuven, 2013. Topic. External links Apollinaris Sidonius, the 5th of November C. 430 to 21 August C. 483, Medieval Lectures. Lynn Harry Nelson. Biographical Introduction to the Letters, O. M. Dalton 1915. Complete English Translation of the Letters of Sidonius Apollinaris, O. M. Dalton 1915. Sidonius Apollinaris, Dedicated Site, with Bibliography and Complete Latin Text of the Correspondence and the Poetry, maintained by Jupe Van Warden since 2003, frequently updated. Opera Omnia by Minya Petrologia Latina with analytical indexes Wace, Henry, Piercy, William C., eds. 1911. Sidonius Apollinaris, Street. Dictionary of Christian Biography and Literature to the End of the Sixth Century 3rd ed. London, John Murray. Herberman, Charles, ed. 1913. Sidonius Apollinaris. Catholic Encyclopedia. New York, Robert Appleton Company. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Apollinaris Sidonius, Key Solius. Encyclopædia Britannica, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press.